Hello everybody, how's it going? Good to see you. Oh, I'm after dropping the phone. Let me get a case here for the Instagram friends. Uh, can't seem to find a phone case. Alright, how's everybody doing? It's very fantastic to see you all on this lovely Thursday night. It's absolutely brilliant to be back with you. Wherever you're coming from, it's lovely to see. Oh, I'm gonna end that video. Thank you. Normally I uh, have a different stand for this phone, but it's gonna be having trouble to keep this straight. Okay, that was straight. Perfect. Hey Gav, hey Nat, hey Jack. Okay, let's get everybody on Instagram. A bit of a slow start to normal, but nonetheless, we're up and running. Hello, everybody. Ah, welcome to another edition of At Home Again Naturally. Thanks so much for joining, for being part of uh, episode 16 of At Home Again Naturally. Hope you're all keeping well. You've all had a good week and you're looking forward to the weekend. I'll hey, say hi to some of you in a minute. First, I'm going to start you off with a tune called Berlin. I've seen the mud of strangers in the quiet of Berlin. Darkness of these alleyways tempting us to sin. We could have had our way with days, days we felt like Jesus. But now your flame is at my heels, and I'm desperate for you. Jesus. And desire that burns its way to sunrise. Burns its way through my eyes Tonight I heard the month of Sundays Reading out your name Placed before a question mark And filling up the page and then they wrote the gospel for a lack of better fare. And they were sure to mention you, but I could not say where. And these eyes burned its way to sunrise, burned its way to my eyes. And these eyes burned its way to daylight, burned its way to Yeah. 
Thank you very much. And good evening again to everyone who's just joined and to everyone who's been here since the start. It's really great to see you all. Ah. Our Thursday evenings. That's a song called Berlin. Um, this next one is, uh, is a tune about trying to feel up when you're down. Uh, trying to dig yourself out of a hole and trying to see the best in a, in a bad situation. So it's a song aptly entitled Miserable. You let me sleep until your bags were packed. I guess you couldn't face the argument. I never could resist a chance. If it's only for a minute, then where's the sense in that? So you let me sleep until your bags are packed. So what's wrong with being miserable or colorful? What's wrong with being miserable? You've got a struggle on your hands And a bullet in your back In your back, in your back, in your back And I know you lose your innocence When you open up your trap I guess you're hopeless when it comes to that So, what's wrong with being miserable or colorful what's wrong with being miserable Thank you very much. That's miserable. First track off of all the bits you've been in. I don't really know how else to describe miserable other than it's the first track off an album you haven't heard yet. But it's an album that's coming at you soon. I've got some more news on that later on. Uh, all right. Thank you for all of you for joining so early, especially if you're a soccer fan. I know this is night two of me competing, competing with the football, so it's, uh, it's much appreciated. If you'd like to uh, bring uh, other people into the session, then you can start a watch party. You can share it on your page. Uh, I think you can send it directly to Messenger if you're on Facebook, and I think you can send it directly to Messenger if you're on Instagram. Hey to uh, John Paul. Hey to Emer. Hello to David. Hey to Megan Murray as well. Great to see you, Megan. Hey to Sinead. Hey to Adele. Great to see you guys. Hello to Jack and Karen. Caught loads of people here so far. This is really great. Always nice. I never get, I never get sick of that feeling of seeing everybody here. It's really appreciated. Say hello if you're in the comments. This one's called Cartoon.
such a high price in a moment that would lead me to vice and claim of indifference but you can bury my body under all this cement say you forget where you put me or at least never confess if you had an error if you had Answer me so I can make amends and I'll be clear in my lines be for the weekend can't digest won't come to grips with anything that's anything and I don't want to breathe I don't want to breathe won't digest won't come to grips with anything that makes you take and I don't want to breathe cartoon for you there. Written about the great city of Newcastle. But going out to you whatever city you're in tonight. And uh, go to Newcastle. Newcastle is always fantastic. Wow, there's so many people here. This is amazing. Fantastic to see you all. Alright. Got lots of tunes to get through tonight. Um... This is a tune about um, trying to overcome uh, whatever it is that you're trying to overcome um, and trying to wrestle with any difficulties in your life that are making you feel uh, like there's no way forward and there is always a way forward. So the song is called In Your Praises. the changes and gave purpose to these godless bones surely there'll be other places for us to build our houses on if you see me and your heart be raises keep me if you see me and your heart be raises Today, honey, we're only hoping We'll lock out on this expensive ride to every single fuck up if you see me and your heart be raises keep your praises if you see me and your heart be raises keep your praises keep in your praises tell you that it's gone the blisters on your hands are signs of workmanship not that you've been at it for too long and if you see me and your heart be raises keep your praise 
praises if you see me and your heart be praises keep your praises if you've had great love and it only comes in That's in your praises. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a beat and say hi to some of you. Wherever you're coming from in the world, wherever you're at, it is lovely to see you here. Jack is commenting on um, Grace's fantastic candle work. It's pretty amazing. There's for everyone on Instagram. There's everyone on Facebook. It's pretty great, right? She always does a great job every week. Hey to Sue. Hey to Hannah. Hey to Calvin Hansen, great to see you. Hey to Shane, what else have we got? Hey to Patrick, how you doing Patrick? Thanks for coming in and watching. Hey to Dee as well. Hello to Moira. Fantastic, this is really great. I'll get around to everyone, hopefully get around to everyone before the end of the stream and say hello. Um, I think it's time to do the Keep Me Honest section. Um, which is, uh, for those of you that are joining for the first time, um, is a section where I play a new song, which I've written um, since the last session. And uh, this tune, uh, like the last one which I played, Oh Vivid Me, um, is, uh, came to me quite late, to be totally honest with you. Um, I was still finishing up today, still trying to figure out uh, what to do with it and, and uh, where to go with it. And it was nice getting to that point in the afternoon where I just figured, right, well, if it doesn't get done now, it doesn't get done. That's the moment then when everything starts piecing itself together, which is always a really amazing feeling. Uh, thanks to Sue Almond for the comments on the locks. I know a lot of people in Ireland have uh, had access to uh, hairdressers. Um, we haven't yet. I've had a few offers for people to cut my hair, but I don't know if I'm brave enough. I'm surprised I haven't taken a razor to it myself, to be honest, but it's actually not bothering me that much, which is nice. <laughs> so, um, this is a song um, which is kind of, um, I, I guess, rooted in, in what's happening at the moment. And there's so much going on at the moment. Um, there's so much happening, obviously. Um, the world is, is changing in front of our eyes. And I think for the better, um, I think at the moment we're in that kind of weird place where everything seems dark and really in your face. But I think that when we come out the other side of that, it's going to be um, a much, much better world for us all to live in. And this is a song about um, that feeling of, of, of being content in your surroundings and, and being feeling safe effectively and I know that this has been a couple of months where a lot of people haven't felt safe I've been reading a lot today about um, how so many venues in the UK and Ireland are are really um, are really facing um, an existential threat at the moment um, because of a lack of funding obviously because of the coronavirus and it's going to be so important that we support the incredible venues um, that are able to stay open until we're able to get back to some places like like uh, like Collins, um, like Dolan's, like the Islington here in London, like the Bedford, um, and so many other incredible venues. Cypress Avenue, um, the Oliver Plunkett. Um, I know I'm just naming venues that I've been in now, but places that like um, have have meant a lot to an awful lot of people, uh, and that have been a, a big part of a lot of people's lives. And so this is about that feeling of of, of being safe and getting to that place. Um, and it requires a lot of work sometimes, and it requires a lot of uh, strife and struggle. Um, but here's here's really hoping that we will that we will all get to that, and all the places that we love and um, and we cherish uh, will will come along with us. So this is a song called "Hope This Feeling." Straight from the hip, why get behind the line when you can 
get in front of it who says we're better off making plans to quit you could leave it out there and stop asking whatever happened to those times i say to you i hope this feeling never ends whatever happened to those times i say to you i hope it never ends where is the light source where are we coming out into the daylight so we can find it out where does it come from the spirit that you have just decides and hope everything will be all right but whatever happened to those times i say to you i hope this feeling never ends whatever happened to those times i say to you i hope this feeling never ends this is what it comes to when every day feels much longer than the next we know closer when this is what it's come to and every day is longer than the next you know whatever happened to these times i'd say to you i hope this feeling never ends whatever happened to those times i'd say to you i hope this feeling never ends whatever happened to those times i'd say to you well, I hope this never ends. Whatever happened to these times I'd say to you, I hope this feeling never ends. I hope, I hope it never ends. Thank you very much. That's a new song called Hope This Feeling. Um, finished today. Um, and it's part of the uh, Keep Me Honest section. So keep coming back every week. This is really amazing to uh, to challenge myself to write a new song for you um, every week. For those of you who don't know, the forfeit is that if I don't write a song, I've got to play a really old song that I no longer uh, have a lot of love for. Um, but that's going to be fun as well. Say hello to some more people. Um, hello to Ashling. Hey to John. Hey to Gerald. Hey to Cynthia. Hey to Abby, great to see you guys coming in. Hello to Shane Robinson, good to see you Shane. Thanks for coming in. Shane, I believe Liverpool are playing now. It's very surprising to see you uh, See you here. Hey to Steve, hello to Claire, and hello to James. Okay, I'm gonna do a quieter one now. Um, I'd like to dedicate this to two of my friends um, who I think are watching tonight. I think one of them is watching anyway. Um, this goes out to Nas and James, who um, who are getting married this weekend. And uh, obviously, um, Nas and James are supposed to have like a, a massive party, a big big gathering um, for their wedding this weekend. Uh, and those plans have obviously been um, totally changed by uh, the last few months. But they're going ahead and getting married this weekend anyway, um, and then having um, a little. Uh, a little party afterwards. Um, I'm really sad not to be able to make it. Um, I was really looking forward to uh, to their wedding and to seeing Nas and James on on what's going to be an amazing day. Um, but I'm looking forward to celebrating uh, with them when I see them next. So this is uh, for Nas and James on your wedding weekend, two days before your wedding, wedding week, pre wedding week. I don't know. This is in the next.
He's just a writer she loves to paint One day without him is one less that he's away His flight's in early, she'll still be asleep The floorboards and whisper under his feet He tries not to wake her as he climbs under the sheets In winter time it's night time for most of the week When you're gonna come back when you're gonna go, when you're gonna leave this place and climb into the world, when you're gonna go there and tell me what you saw, when you're gonna realize these ins and outs are all we've got to go on. Head on my shoulder, she says, what shall we do? And I said, I'm thinking milk, three sugars and you. Walking out with what you love can leave you with a surplus. The best way to walk is with a purpose. When you're gonna come back, when you're gonna go place and climb into the world when you're gonna go there tell me what you saw when you're gonna realize these ins and outs are all we've got to go Please don't speak so loudly I've got something to confess Baby, don't just speak so loudly I've got something to confess I've been asked to play this song at a few weddings in the last year or so Which is always an honor, obviously To be asked to play your own song at someone's wedding but I always laugh when I get asked to play this song because um, it's not the most wedding appropriate song. It's this next um, verse. And when you belt it out in a church with a very disapproving priest looking on at you, I have to say, that's when you know you've made it. He's just a sculptor, she loves to pose. Best days for her I spent when she's out of her clothes. His flight's in early, but she couldn't get to sleep. So she'll sit and wait until he comes back in one piece, baby. When you're gonna come back? When you're gonna go? When you're gonna leave this place and climb into the world? Tell me what you saw When you're gonna realize These ins and outs are all We've got to go on When you're gonna come back When you're gonna go When you're gonna leave this place And climb into the world And when you're gonna go there And tell me what you saw Sins and outs are all we've got to go on. We've got to go on. We've got to go on. Thank you very much. That's in tonight's close out to Nash and, Nash and James. Hope you guys have an absolutely amazing weekend. I so, so cannot wait to have a drink with you when I see you next. It's going to be an absolutely fantastic one. Lots of celebrations to, uh, to enjoy. Um,
not sure if um, if there are comments coming up or not. There's nothing coming up for me on my phone, so uh, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm missing a lot of stuff. Never put her down three now. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's the, apparently that's the most pressing uh, comment is that never put her down three now. Thanks for letting me know though. Good to know. Shane is replacing the crowd noise with you. Shane's replacing the crowd noise with me. Oh, that's a good idea. Sky Sports should do that in general, shouldn't they? Should just play independent musicians all the way through. I don't know who'd have ninety minutes of stuff just to play. I don't have ninety minutes of stuff. I guess they could just put this stream on, couldn't they? I love as well. I, I saw I was watching a match the other day, and uh, they had the crowd noise on. And at one point, the commentator had to apologise for any offence caused by the crowd chanting. And you're like, you guys vet this. You guys, you guys literally pick the crowd noise that people are hearing. Why did you pick the one with loads of swear words in it? I'm thinking maybe there's like some savvy producer who's just like, this would be a bit of a laugh. I was to be fair. Hey to Terry. Hello to Barney as well. Great to see you here. Yeah, it's weird that my comments aren't coming up. Um, hey to Lauren. Lauren O'Mahony. Alright. Let's do another chip. Jack wants to know what the whiskey is. Um, it is Glen Fittich. 12 year old. Um, this is not a gift from someone. Normally what I do is I um, I, I do a, a, a drink from some something that someone sent us or given to us. This one was just part of the same food order, but to be fair, it was a gift to ourselves. And it was a nice one at that. A nice gift. Um, I don't want to play. This is a song about um, putting your demons to bed, and in this case, it's your the demons are your sixteen, or your sixteen-year-old self's girlfriend's dad. I'm sure I could have explained that better. Your ex-girlfriend's dad, I suppose. It's probably easier to say. It's about looking at, back on those times in your life where you were just trying to prove yourself and trying to be the big cojona and looking back on it now and it's just embarrassing but you know what it's the effort that counts this is stopping yourself up over nothing we built our funeral parts at such a young age came to me gentle not torn for a rage with your father What he see his young hen Why would surely ruin for other men Just like I did, so he says And your mother was right as she always, always is Had I heeded the warnings of mine Things might well have been different Darling, you know that you could stop up over nothing Stop being so hard on yourself Start making a goal out of something Something always leads to nothing in the end Don't you lean on me when I can't give you what you want And I can't give you what you need Baby, you know that it is killing me So on we go Knowing things will get better in the hope they won't How did this slip away from us so easily? When did I start bringing daggers to my sleep? How could we know that you could stop Oh, beating yourself up over nothing Stop, oh, being so hard on yourself And when you start making a goal out of something Just know that something is always better Stop. 
Control the fire, set us ablaze. You came to me restless, it was only a fate. And the fact that he knows your body as I don't is news to me, genuinely. But then again, experience is made for two better men, so I'll just be better than him. And your mother was right, but I don't give a shit what she thinks. Having heeded the warnings of my heart, my best path is in leaving this. Thank you very much. Let's stop eating yourself over and over. And in case my ex-girlfriend's dad is watching I'm sorry I guess let's let's bury the hatchet in fact if he's here comment let's let's start a dialogue here and now <laughs> hey to Jono who else have we got hello to David Ruby your good friend David Ruby all right um cool I guess we'll do the chosen ones um uh, so this week's question was um, tell me your favourite song by an independent or an unsigned artist and I've been really looking forward to this one for a long time um, for a number of reasons obviously I'm an unsigned artist and it's always nice when someone mentions your music somewhere where you're not expecting it um, so um, it was great to just you know spend a day talking about independent artists we've got some great requests um, from um, Sardus, uh, Stephanie Rainey uh, Sarah Ryan. Um, we in fact got so many great um, suggestions that I'm actually going to do a tiny bit of a cheat and I'm going to extend this chosen one section for the next two weeks after this one. For, so for this week and the next two weeks after I'm going to be playing um, songs by independent artists from the um, chosen one submissions. I am going to put up um, the chosen one's question um, again uh, just so that people can submit more more um, great music and we can add it to the um, the chosen ones playlist which is on Spotify um, but yeah it was really it was just amazing to see all the incredible songs and uh, to be reminded of so many incredible independent artists as well thank you all for your support um, for reaching out and for telling me about your favourite independent artists you really do have no idea how much even just um, telling a few friends about um, independent music does what it does and, and how important it is um, so I'm going to start off this three-parter chosen one section which will extend over the next two weeks um, or three weeks however you look at it uh, with an old friend of mine and uh, one of my favourite songwriters um, Emma Langford uh, I got to play with Emma I got to play Emma songs uh, back in the summer for a gig that she was doing over here in London and we met up the day before and um, and we did a practice and stuff but in the week beforehand it was just it was amazing listening to songs that I absolutely love listening to with the aim of learning how to play them and seeing how you know just really getting to grips with how cleverly written they are and just how um how meticulous they are and just how thoughtful they are and I absolutely love Emma's songs I love all the music she, that she brings out I just you know I think she's just a, a really she's a real blessing to the Irish and uh, international indie music scene as well um, but as I've said I don't think she's going to be an indie or an unsigned artist for much longer I think we're going to see huge huge things from her and I really can't wait to see what those things are so for the um, first of these sessions uh, I am going to play uh, an Emma Langford tune this is taken from her first album called Quiet Joint I think it was the first single off it as well this is Closed Book Ah! 
dream swimming, whispering your chosen worth. As you stand up there screaming, and I will turn and raise an empty glass to your wisdom unexplained. Is it real? Is any of it more than me? Have the words and letters changed? Ah, 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 ah. Yes, I came, didn't I? And I was there, wasn't I? So here I stand And what more can you look for In these eyes, in these eyes, in these eyes of mine So I lie awake, wondering, and I turn to face the camera, and I stand and raise an empty glass. So. I lie awake, wandering, talking in my head. Is it real? Is any of it more than me? Or am I a dead? Is it real? Is any of it more than me? Am I a dead? Is it real? Is any of it more than me? Or am I a dead man? Again. Thank you very much, that's a closed book. And that is taken from uh, Emma Langford's debut album, Quiet Giant. Check it out, it's absolutely amazing. There's gonna be a, another cover from uh, a different independent artist uh, next week and the week after as well. Um, while we're talking about independent artists, I guess I'll give a quick little plug um, to um, the single that I'm bringing out on Friday, July 31st. It came back from being mastered today. And I'm so, so amazingly happy with how it sounds. I can't wait to show it to everybody. Um, and I'm gonna be marking the single release the day before it, um, before it comes out on July 30th um, with uh, some more musicians all going well um, so at the moment obviously um, uh, measures are being relaxed um, where people are able to um, spend a bit more time together in a room close to one another so if that continues and if we're still in a good place on July 30th then I'll have some uh, some extra musicians joining me for what will effectively be the online pre-single launch of um, my new single um, <laughs> The new single is called You Know I Won't um, and pre-saves will be available from this weekend as well. Um, so I'll be putting it up on my Facebook page and I will be bothering you like bollocks for the next few weeks to uh, pre-save it because it's really, really, uh, really helps to have a few pre-saves. So thank you. Um, Alright, let's do a couple more tunes and then, uh, and then I'll leave you guys alone for a week. What to do? Okay, I'm going to do Satan's end. I felt the fever as it circled the earth And your hands wrapped around my neck from the day of my birth Like a mar from an amber kiss I hear a loud sound on the roof of my house And I've had enough of this Heavy with duty, the burden resumes. And I find myself out all hours to content my eventual doom. Locking eyes with what I've never known. I think it's best for me to go because I want to make sure that he. Safe and sound. I'm going.
Gonna be the man to break your heart World renowned Like any good seizure I'm feeling the fall the walls crumble one by one until my neighbor is dead in the hall. And though I know I can do no more, I feel my feet are rooted to the floor. And I want to make sure that you are safe and sound. But I'm going to be the man to break your Till you found that I broke your heart more than once And danced you down a path you used to run Having kept you for anything that I needed If I told you it's all for nothing, could you believe What a resolution, baby. What a resolution. Thank you very much. That's safe and sound. Ah. Okay. So we're coming to our last song. Um, I want to say a massive thank you again to all of you for tuning in and for watching um, at home again naturally. It's so amazing to see so many people here every week coming back each week and being so kind. I'm really sorry that I couldn't see the comments on Facebook um, this evening. Um, so I will try to get to them after the stream and, and say hi to you all properly. Um, as always, if you could just um, tell someone um, about this stream and about my music between now and when we meet again next week, that is really helpful um, because it just spreads my music a little bit further um, and it, it's really, really helpful, especially when I have the single coming out as well. Um, another thing as well is just keep an eye on the pages of all the... Um, local businesses, all the local venues um, uh, in your area um, that you supported before lockdown and that we'll need to support now. Um, just to keep an eye out for any initiatives that they're having or, or if there's any call-outs or stuff that we um, can be doing for those amazing businesses and venues um, that have looked after us so much in the past, I, I'm sure we'll continue to do so if they have the resources. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for that. Um, thank you for just being here, for spending your Thursday evening with me. Um, yeah. Whatever you get out of these sessions, I'm really glad that you're here. And uh, it means an awful lot that you keep coming back. So my name one that I haven't played in a while. Um, a song about that person who comes into your life and then disappears after only a couple of days. Leaving behind them almost this kind of mythological um, sense about them. This mythological kind of like feeling and you can't help but kind of just start making up stuff about them because you don't know anything about them but you want to you've, you've met them and uh, and and you and you want to know more about them but because you don't you just start making stuff up and eventually you end up idolizing them and it's um it's a song about uh it's a song about coming back to um coming uh coming back to your senses um seeing that person a few months down the line Realising they're just as normal as you 
go through the pedestal that you put them on. So thank you so much again for uh, for watching, for listening, for just being so class. Um, it is just such a pleasure to play for you every Thursday night. And I hope we're going to keep doing it again uh, for another little while. So my name is James Orr. Thanks again for listening. Uh, we'll see you next Thursday. This one's called The Fear. Until next week, enjoy the rest of your rest of your weekend. We'll see you soon. Good night. <laughs>